Saul Bass. Before I ever met him, before we worked together, he was a legend in my eyes. His designs for film titles, company logos, record albums, and posters defined an era. In essence, they found and distilled the poetry of the modern industrialized world. They gave us a series of crystallized images, expressions of who and where we were and the future ahead of us. They were images you could dream on. They still are. That was legendary director Martin Scorsese writing about the film title designer Saul Bass. Scorsese and Bass collaborated four times in the 1990s on Scorsese's films. I know I'd go from rags to riches if you would only. Before 34-year-old Saul Bass entered the world of film title and poster design with Otto Preminger's Carmen Jones in 1954, opening titles were usually elaborate paintings on glass. These paintings consisted of thick type that was built up to resemble reliefs on the glass panels, which were then shot. It was in no way modern. Bass, however, was looking at film through the lenses of graphic design and typography. The work that Bass created for films was inspired by what was happening in the worlds of advertising and modern art. Bass's greatest collaboration was with Alfred Hitchcock, with whom he made three films. Their first film together was 1958's Vertigo, starring Jimmy Stewart and Kim Novak. The film is a nightmare fuel journey into a man's obsession with a woman. To complement Bernard Herrmann's hypnotic score, Bass chose to start in a woman's eye, which he thought to be the most vulnerable organ in the entire body, and then have a vortex slowly spiral out of it, encapsulating the sensation of vertigo that is both literal and metaphorical for Stewart's character. In Bass's own words, here is a woman made into what a man wants her to be. She is put together piece by piece. The second of their collaborations was for Hitchcock's next film, 1959's North by Northwest, starring Cary Grant and Eva Marie Saint. The title screen begins on a bright green background, over which dark blue lines race in, forming a lattice pattern. The credits run up and down the pattern. After the title appears, the first shot of the film fades in, and it's revealed that the pattern was forming the side of a glass skyscraper in New York. This skyscraper reflects the hustle and bustle of New York City, where the film begins. Because Hitchcock was so pleased with Bass's work on Vertigo and North by Northwest, Bass was hired as both the title designer and as a consultant on Hitchcock's follow-up film, 1960's Cycle, starring Anthony Perkins and Janet Leigh. Bass's goal for the Cycle titles was to create a sense of unease and disorder within an organized world. Parallel black bars dissect a gray screen to reveal the credits, but something isn't quite right. Each credit is dissected as well, and the sections go in and out of alignment with the music, indicative of the unpredictability that will follow in the film. The consultant credit was given to Bass for his assistance with several key sequences, one of which became the most infamous scene in the film. After Bass storyboarded this scene, Hitchcock essentially allowed him to direct it by setting up each shot to match the compositions of his storyboards. The result is a sequence that is the antithesis of Hitchcock's signature long takes, and instead relies on fast cuts and suggestions to create a horrific scenario. To quote another legendary filmmaker, Steven Spielberg, Saul Bass wasn't just an artist who contributed to the first several minutes of some of the greatest movies in history. In my opinion, his body of work qualifies him as one of the best filmmakers of this or any other time. <laughs> <laughs>